have dreams, desires and aspirations that you want to fulfill but are really hesitant to pursue them? Have you ever missed out on some amazing opportunities just because you were scared? That's what fears do to us. They stop us all the time. They prevent us from living the life of our dreams. They prevent us from becoming the person who would make it happen. So what's the way out? But before I tell you how to handle your fears, let's understand something about fears. Now say for example, you have the fear of flying. And the moment you board a flight and it starts taking off, what happens to you? Your heart starts racing really fast, you start perspiring, you feel a pit in your stomach, your, your lungs feel constricted, you're unable to breathe. It's a very uncomfortable feeling, right? So the point that I'm trying to make here is that fear is an emotion. It is an energy which we feel in our body. All the emotions are felt in your body. The thought starts in your mind, but the body feels it. However, there is another emotion which has exactly the same manifestation in your body. You know which emotion that is? It is that of excitement. And that's a good news for us. Because when you're excited, have you ever experienced excitement? I'm sure all of us have experienced excite excitement. For example, you're meeting a long lost friend after decades. How will you feel? Same, your heart starts racing really fast, you start perspiring, there are butterflies in your stomach, you're unable to breathe, you feel constricted. So fear and excitement have the same manifestation in your body. Then what is the difference? The only difference between the two is how your mind interprets them. The mind interprets fear as a threat and it interprets excitement as something which is motivating, inspiring. And this similarity in the physical manifestation of fear and excitement helps us use fears to fuel us. I do that all the time. I have used all my fears to fuel myself to do what I love to do. Now my fears give me energy. And for that, I use a very simple hack, which I will be sharing with you today. And uh, that has made a humongous difference in my life. It has actually helped me overcome so many of my fears including the fear of public speaking. So let's talk about that simple hack. I call this hack the SCS hack. The first S stands for stop. The moment you start feeling fearful, now you've boarded the flight and it started taking off and you, have start, and you start feeling that panicky feeling, that freakiness, you start freaking out. And the moment it starts, what you have to tell your mind is stop. Tell your mind to stop. Say the word stop in your mind. And then the second step, C, is count backwards from 8 to 1. So first step is you will say stop. Second step is you will count backwards from 8 to 1. And the third step, the third S is statement. This will be followed by a statement. And the statement, the format of the statement is I am excited today because dash. For, let's take the example of flying only. Now the flight has started taking off and you start feeling the fear, you start feeling panicky, your body st you start, you, you start perspiring, you start feeling the fear in your body. The moment it starts happening, you have to tell your mind to stop. Then count backwards from 8 to 1. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This will be followed by the statement I am excited today to fly because I know after two hours I'll be meeting my mother after two long years. I'm so excited to fly today. So what we are doing basically here is we are disrupting the pattern of fear in our mind. The moment the fear happens, I'm telling my mind to stop. I count from eight to one to disrupt that pattern and give, feed a new, feed, feed a new reason, feed a new reason to my mind and the reason is I am excited to fly because I will be meeting my mother after two long years. So what you're doing is in the statement you are giving a reason to your mind why your body is feeling that agitated, why it is feeling agitated. Normally when the body is feeling agitated your mind perceives that as some fear, some threat. 
now you have to change that reason and tell your mind you have to trick your mind and tell your mind that okay i am feeling agitated my body is feeling agitated i'm uh, i'm perspiring my heart is racing fast but you know what why it is so because i'm excited i'm excited to fly today because i know i'm meeting my mother after two long years so because after because you have to give the outcome the result that you want to experience out of that entire scenario so what is the result i want to experience after i fly why am i flying i'm flying because i want to meet my mother after two long years i'm going to the stage i'm going to address 200 people today because i have some great information great knowledge to share with them and it is going to make a difference in their life it is it is going to create a positive impact in their lives so what we are doing right now is we are shifting the reason from fear to excitement and if you practice this scs hack whenever you feel fear consistently and regularly you will see that your fear all your fears whatever fears you are using this scs hack for they start vanishing they start disappearing and suddenly you find yourself feeling excited for doing the things that you have been fearing all your life that is the power of this simple hack so go ahead and use this hack and do give me your feedback after using it how it has impacted your life i i know 200% that you will come up come back write a comment and tell me yes rinku this has really worked for us because it has worked for me it has worked for the people that i work with so go ahead and use this hack and see how you will turn all your fears into fuel and live the life that you really want to live fulfill all your dreams your aspirations your desires everything will start coming true once you know how to use your fears to become successful so that's all for today keep smiling and stay happy